Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I'm gonna to bring you along for another canning video. So the other night I was making a, um, a chili verde and I wanted to add some beans to it. I had one can of store-bought white beans, the northern white beans that I could add to it. I do not care to can northern white beans. They swell up pretty big and they, I don't know, I, I'm not happy with the results of them. I'd rather cook them and add them, but I don't always have that time and I did not have that time the other night because it was after work, all those good things. So I decided these little navy beans hold up excellent in the canning. Uh, so I'm canning navy beans. Now I've already soaked these from last night till this afternoon. I'm I'm home from work and now we're going to can. And so I've already soaked these beans. I've got two pounds of beans. That's two pounds of beans. Look how much they swell. So I've already, and I've rinsed these three times. So they are ready. I'm gonna put these in my uh, Cuisinart, Cuisinart stock pot that I've got. I've got about three quarts of water in there right now. And I'm gonna get these heating up. I'm gonna simmer them on the stove, bring them to a boil, simmer them and for the appropriate amount of time. For any canning instructions, I urge you to go over to the National Center for Home Food Preservation. That's where you can get all kinds of canning techniques and safe methods to do your home canning. I'm showing you what I'm doing for my kitchen and it is recommended that you safely can beans and they need to be soaked and they need to be partially cooked. Um, but, and they don't come out mushy at all. So I'm gonna, these have some water in with them too. So I'm just putting, you want a fair amount of water over the beans to bring them to a boil, okay? And when these come to a boil, they boil for the appropriate amount of time, which is, they say 30 minutes. So when they've done that, I'm going to jar them up. My jars have been tempered and they are ready to go. So I'll put hot beans, hot water, fresh water, um, because that also helps take some of that gassiness out as long as you're flushing the water every time. Um, and then they're gonna go in the canner. And so I'm doing pint jars. And for the cost of two pounds of beans, uh, today's prices for a pound of navy beans is at Walmart like $1.22 or $1.21 a bag for a pound. Um, to get a 15 ounce, I believe there's still 15 ounces, 15 ounce, and that's including the fluid that's in there with it, of um, white beans canned, commercially canned, is $1.22. So I can get 15 ounces of beans already cooked and canned, or I can do it myself for, uh, I'm gonna get more than seven pints, I'm sure, out of this, but I have my little canner, it's a 10.9, 10 10.5, right? 10.5, um, the smallest all-American canner that they make. I've got down in my Amazon store, I've got a link to that, but, um, It'll hold seven regular mouth jars. And regular mouth jars, I don't know why, I just really like the look of them. They look more inviting to me for, for whatever reason. And of course, I'll be using four jars lids. Okay, so I've got my four jars lids out. Um, and I do have a link, uh, an affiliate link down below. So full disclosure, I am an affiliate for four jars. Um, I've had really good success and any of the fails that I did have, I was able to actually fix it and use the same lid. And these were water bath canning sessions that didn't go well. And I showed you the videos on those. So um, I'll do a post canning chat after this as well, but the success rate has been awesome. They're very well made and I am super happy with them. And it's an outstanding company. So you guys, uh, super quick shipping too. Don't forget, just check the link below. If you put Linda's Pantry, no apostrophe, all one word um, in the coupon code, you'll get 10% off your order. And uh, yes, so let's get to cooking these beans. I'll be back when we're loading up jars. Okay, we are ready to start canning. I uh, simmered these beans at a pretty good, pretty good boil for a half hour. And then your water's all cloudy and got a lot of starch in it again. It's good to get that off. And then I use a spider kind of a tool to get that off. 
I'm going to, I want plenty of liquid in these jars. So I'm really only gonna fill them up to, gosh. I don't, because I know that they're gonna continue to swell. I don't want, I might pour a few off here. Ooh, that jar's hot now. Ooh, pour a few off. I want the jar full, so two thirds, or three quarters of the way full is what I think I've decided. Three quarters of the way full, and then that way my beans won't be dried out. And if I've got enough enough to do some more beans tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and can up the rest of them, but we'll see what we get tonight, okay? Three fourths of the way, yep, a few more. You'll, you know, it's easy to say, oh, I want, I want more beans in there, but gosh darn it, then you don't have enough liquid. And um, like I said, they're gonna continue to swell. So we'll see how far two pounds of beans go for us. And I did put Himalayan pink salt, which is a pure salt down in the bottom of each jar, a half a teaspoon. You can leave that out. That has nothing to do with this on the web. Oh, <laughs> Miss, uh, Miss Interruption is looking or listening to me and it made me, <laughs> it made me, it made me uh, pour too many in. Okay. Siri is helping. So three fourths of the way. Anyway, you can add the salt or leave it out. Um, it doesn't matter. You do you. It's your canning kitchen. Um, and as I encourage you, though, to be safe. And like I said, go to the National Center for Home Food Preservation. And you can't you can't go wrong. They'll they'll guide you through the process with safe guidelines and yeah. Okay, so all seven jars are definitely getting full or as full as I want them. I enjoy having the extra liquid in there because, well, I don't, I don't like my beans dried out. Are they still good if they're a little dry? Yes, they are, but I may have another canner load. You just never know. And, and that would be okay. If I could get another canner load out of this, I would be very happy. But I don't think it's gonna be a full canner load. So now I'm, oh, I got one more jar. One more, one more jar. And you could rinse these one more time, but I think just getting the water um, that's in the, in the pot off of them is plenty. And then we'll put fresh, hot boiling, I've already boiled the water. Um, and the beans are, okay, I'll take one. They are, ow, they're hot, they're hot. But you can smush them with your, with your finger, see? I can smush that, but they're still, and they've still got cooking to go. All right. Hopefully that's close enough. Let's get the water in these. And then we'll be bubble. And putting the hot beans in there also, um, you want an inch of headspace. Get all around all the beans, okay? Inch of headspace, you might actually lose some headspace when you do bubble, which is normal. And you'd be surprised how fast they start soaking up some more liquid. Okay. Yep. You bubble, you bubble, you bubble. And what comes next? We're talking. Uh, the next move is wiping the rim and putting our uh, four jars lids on there. And, okay. Whoops. De bubble, de bubble, de bubble. I've inspected all the, the canner, the jars, 
the lids, everything. You do kind of a little inspection. And if you'd like to see how I do that pre-canning inspection, let me know in the comment section and I'll, I'll do a video and walk you through how I do all my checkpoints and get everything set up. Okay, so I'm checking all the jars. This one needs a little bit more. Remember that liquid is gonna go down just a little bit because of the beans absorbing, but you, you don't wanna you don't want to overdo it. That one I put a little bit too much and that's too hot to lift up. So we're going to scoop it off with a spoon. Okay. I don't, there we go. Literally was like a tablespoon of water. Too much. Okay. And let me get I've got water in my canner that has a little bit of vinegar. I think I put vinegar in there. I don't remember. I got my canner and everything ready last night when I did the pre-soaking of the beans because I knew I'd be doing it when I got home from work. And there's a little prep time involved with this whole thing. So I wanted to make sure that I had everything ready and waiting and ready to go. Okay. So I'm gonna get my lids on. And these are regular mouth lids. I've washed and dried them and they're perfect. Okay, I'm ready to go. Finger tight, that's it. Just a real quick fingertip tight. Look at those beauties. Those are gonna be delicious. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the canner and then I'll, um, I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I put all seven jars in the canner, in my little All-American canner, and I, across from each other, got these started, and then tight, after I got them all on and in place, you're trying to level this out. That's why you just kind of put them just slightly snug, and then you go to the next one, the next one, then you tighten them all down, and it kind of gives you an even space. I've inspected my petcock. It's clear, it's ready to vent steam, and when a really nice, steady stream of steam comes out, we can vent that for 10 minutes. You have to do that. It's part of the canning process, part of the timing process. You're getting all the air out of the canner and filling the void space between the water and the top of the canner with steam. That is what actually creates that intense heat. It's got to get to 240 degrees on the dial gauge. And for my altitude, it's 10 pounds of pressure. So when that is vented for 10 full minutes, then I will put my weight on for 10 pounds. And once it starts doing its little dance, then I'll time it for 75 minutes. And that's the canning processing time for beans. So, uh, dried beans and so then after that 75 minutes is up I'm gonna let the canner come down off of pressure all on its own if we're looking at a couple of hours from now and then I will uh, bring you back and we'll take them out of the canner and let them rest on the counter until um, bedtime I'll check the seals before bedtime make sure everything has sealed okay um, but you really do leave them undisturbed for about 12 hours. Um, I just make sure that those are sealed. If there's any that I have question about, um, I make the decision whether to refrigerate it. I'm not comfortable with leaving it on the counter. I know it says it's okay, and I'm sure it is, but that's me. So that's how I do it. Everybody, you know, your kitchen, your rules. So it'll literally sit here until it is room temperature before I touch the jars for sure. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna pull them out of the canner. Okay guys, so after 75 minutes of canning time, and then I actually undo the camera after, or camera. Okay guys, so after the canner has come down off of pressure completely, I actually undo your uh, thumb screws and Set it so it can actually vent some steam out of there for, a, well, I do it about 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes longer. It depends on how hot it seems like or how cool it is in the house. And so it's pretty cool inside the house right now. So I didn't want to shock anything. 
So everything is settled down. The water inside the canner is nice and clear. And I'm gonna grab the first jar. Ooh, and I think we have perfect headspace. Look at that, look at that. Now everything's expanded, but you can see I still have some space there, so I'm super excited about that. Okay, jar number one. And here we go, look at, look how beautiful. Yeah, so we're gonna have some nice navy beans on the shelf for a fraction of what it costs to just buy a can of beans. A can of beans this size would cost you dollar twenty something, seems like now in the grocery store. And I canned all of these plus probably the equivalent to two more jars. Um for two dollars and twelve cents, not counting what it costs for the power to run the stove, but I have something that I know everything that went in the jar. So there's that. And I'll show you the canner. Oh, well, obviously it's not gonna have anything much in there. Look how beautiful. Okay, so this is something wonderful to have on the shelf. This is the jar that has the most in it. And these are still boiling in the jar. I don't know if you can see it, but they're still boiling in way. Um, I'm gonna let these sit overnight and tomorrow morning I'll check all the seals. I Your, your rings will loosen up in the canning process. So I kind of just lightly make sure that way they can hold those lids down. It's not helping the seal at all. So, all right guys, I, I can't wait to see you next time and I will do a post canning chat to let you know how these came out and possibly use them in a recipe for you. All right, we'll see you next time for another delicious recipe or a canning session with Linda's Pantry. Okay, bye.